Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Spruce Retro Hunting. And this is kind of a hodgepodge from my last couple weeks just before uh, the outdoor flea markets opened. So it was basically a toy show and my Ohio trip video game pickup. So stay tuned, smash that like button, subscribe down below, and I hope you enjoy the show. Peace. going on everybody uh, we are here at stop number one in the trip to Ohio uh, we are stopping at retro junk in Connecticut uh, never been before I've heard plenty about it no people that have been so let's go check it out see if we can't find some cool stuff inside inside yeah I don't in know there. where we're going with that but um, let's go check it out Jack boy over there. I want that. Manuals. Uh -huh. Yeah. It looks so good. If I was a hot chick, what game would I want to play? <laughs> Yo. Uh, okay. Is there? Yeah. Right here. Those are the newer ones. What's up, Ben? Well, I'll be over in a second. Love the old Babbage's tag. 50 bucks. It's kind of cool. Robocop! We don't gotta like Robocop, but he doesn't buy all this stuff. I know. Is, is, is that for sale? I doubt it. That's cool. I'm not really a Chucky guy, but that's cool. That's cool. Huh. 
Huh. The never ending so odds oh, two. We don't want two, we want part one. Never even heard of some of these. This is funny. It's a repro. That's probably why I've never heard of them because they're repros. Import repro. Controller. That's cool. What's going on guys here's uh the end of my pickups from the last couple weeks before the flea markets opened uh, i know this is a little bit late but it is what it is so this is stuff from when i did a show up in dover new hampshire where it snowed and sleeted and then uh, my ohio pickups and then just some other local little things um basically nothing crazy i'm gonna blow through this kind of quick let you know where i got it all uh the ninja gaiden i honestly don't remember where i picked this one up but it, I'm, i know it was cheap it was like two or three bucks um but any kind of like PS3 stuff that's not sports titles, I'll pick up for that all day long. So definitely not a bad pickup. The manuals here I picked up at a local uh, like consignment shop. Uh, I paid a buck a piece on all the Mega Man ones uh, in the Monster Rancher. So that was pretty nice. The Luigi's Mansion I picked up at the Random Flea Market for $2.00. Um, definitely nice to have those on hand because you never know when you're going to come across the games. I hoard manuals and artwork and stuff like that until I find the discs. I'm sure a lot of us do. Um, the quack shot I grabbed for 10 bucks uh, when I did the Dover, New Hampshire show. So that was pretty cool. Um, it's missing the manual. Yeah, missing the manual. Um, but for 10 bucks, it's still not bad. Uh, it's, you know, it's a pretty popular title on the Genesis. And then the rest of this is from my travel to Ohio. Not a ton of video game stuff. Stuff was either priced extremely accordingly um, or I saw nothing that I really wanted. But uh, I grabbed these four games at a pawn shop that we happened to stop at. None of them were priced. <laughs> and then she told me, um, you know, they'd be a couple bucks a piece, nothing crazy. And then I brought them up to the counter and she priced them in front of me, which is kind of annoying because she said they'd be a couple bucks a piece. Fear 2 is the most expensive at 10 bucks. Uh, Doom 3 uh, and Dead Rising uh were obviously pretty cheap and then the star wars skywalker saga uh, was one that uh we'll probably hang on to and then so like i said nothing crazy there but kind of annoyed it is what it is i still grab the, the hard titles are nice to have even though they're not super crazy expensive hard titles still nice to pick up um grabbed this at one of the places we went to i can't remember the name of it um i paid five bucks for it i haven't tested it yet but a uh, tiger handheld jurassic park for five bucks i'll take that all day long especially with the battery bag so uh and then one of the other places we went right before we left uh, i think we were in pennsylvania at the time going towards ohio um not a ton of stuff there for me uh that i wanted uh, either for my personal self or to flip just because, um, you know, everything was priced accordingly or super over eBay. So you couldn't even do anything about it. It was a consignment shop. So it is what it is. Uh, but I grabbed these, they are, uh, quote unquote knockoffs. 
um, but some of them were never released in the U.S. anyways. So uh, I looked them up and it looked like the prices were pretty good. Sometimes they'll even go a little higher as the knockoffs. Um, so, and they are obviously repros. Um, you know, you can see on the back the little screws there. And uh, this was never released in the U.S. So days before Christmas, uh, Moon Crystal, uh, I believe, was a Japanese release only. But this is the English translation port. So I figured somebody might want that. Um, these can go up to like 40 bucks, I think I saw. So I wouldn't be making much on that. Uh, just kind of something to grab in. And then <laughs> Bubble Bath Babes, which is kind of a funny one uh, to see sitting there, um, is a repro. Because the obviously the original... Uh, real copy is hundreds of dollars so um, just kind of a, a random uh, porn game so um, but that's it guys so this was like I said just a hodgepodge from the last couple weeks before the flea markets opened so I hope you enjoy it I don't remember what there was for footage so thanks for watching smash that like button comment down below uh, subscribe if you haven't and I'll catch you guys on the flip side